What recommendation would you give to us in terms of dealing with this uncertainty that's basically causing a lot of businesses to underperform? <clears throat> so I agree with you. My own discussions with businesses, I hear exactly the same things that you're citing, uh, concern about um, regulations, about taxation, about uncertainty, about fiscal policy. Um, I guess one recommendation that I would give you is that um, long-term budget deficits, um, we can see in, for example, CBOs, um, very long-term projections that um, they remain, they, there is more work to do to put fiscal policy on a sustainable course that progress has been made over the last several years uh, in bringing down deficits in the short term, but that a combination of demographics, the structure of entitlement <laughs> programs, and historic trends in health care costs, um, we can see that over the long term, uh, deficits will rise to unsustainable levels relative to the economy and putting in place a package of um, reforms, ones, I know these are very controversial matters, but that would probably help confidence. Um, as regulators ourselves in the aftermath of a financial crisis, um, we also can see very clearly, for example, that um, the, the kinds of regulations we're putting in place uh, during the process of doing that um, create uncertainty and burdens. We hear this, for example, from community banks all the time. And, you know, here I would say, um, to some extent, the regulations, we're doing this for a very good reason. We had a financial crisis. It's important to make the financial system safer and sounder. And for our own part, um, we will try to make sure that we worry about regulatory burden we um, assume we we try to design regulations that are different and appropriate for different sectors <clears throat> of the economy. Um, I think it's important for us too to be sensitive to regulatory burden uh, in order to um, minimize its impact on the economy. But we are doing things that are important to make the economy safer and sounder. Well, thank you for that answer. And in, in closing here, because I've been noticed that my time is up, um, you join a long list of very responsible Americans uh, who have the experience and the expertise to give us some warnings about what may happen in the future and the consequences of our inability to act uh, over the last several years now uh, in addressing these major problems that are going to have significant consequences on the economy of, uh, of this country and on future uh, generations. I don't know what it's going to take uh, for us to summon the will to do what we all know that we need to do, but we pr I appreciate your adding your name to that long list saying um, you have a responsibility up here and you're not, you're not fulfilling that responsibility. Thank you. Senator